what, what we see is what Tesla was showing, that energy is in the environment, and the lamp and another receiver which is in resonance, and uh, maybe uh, the, the amplifier here for the loudspeakers, or maybe you, or, or whoever, is a receiver, you see. So uh, I can be a receiver as well. Uh, if we have a close look, perhaps we can see the nodes. I reduce it a bit. Normally I have a very long lamp, so that it is easier to see where the nodes are, the nodes of the, of the local wave. Sometimes I'm able to show this. The amplitude, you see. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah. Today I see no. I'm sorry, I see no. Uh, no nodes. Okay, but yeah, that 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 is the not the number 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 zero. It is. <laughs> There is a okay. <laughs> if, I, if I have a very long lamp, then, then I can show. Oh, that's a, that, the, proving that this is, really is a long way. I think I thank you very much. That was absolutely perfect. We have to know what kind of waves are being used. Electromagnetic waves are transverse waves, comparable to the waves that are created when you throw a pebble into a pond. But there are other kinds of waves, longitudinal or shock waves, like those created by this toy gun. It makes smoke rings that fly forward one after the other. Sound is a longitudinal wave, and that's the kind of wave that's being used here. Milo calls them Tesla waves. He's followed up and developed Tesla's research. His model boat has nothing but an electric motor on board and an antenna. A Tesla antenna.